the Zoroastrians who are called Parsis in India. And uh, they have been, uh, they had a country called Iran, which was occupied by Islamic forces, and everybody was forcibly converted to Islam. And they, uh, some of them escaped, and the only place they survived was India. And when they came to India, uh, they came to Gujarat, uh, the Shankaracharya was uh, there to receive them, and we built their fire temples, and uh, they have lived uh, perfectly in harmony with the Hindu society, and when the British left, they approached them and said that like for the Anglo-Indians, uh, we can make a special quota for you in the parliament, and uh, uh, because uh, this Hindu community is huge, it will swallow you. And uh, they said uh, to the British, for a thousand years they've looked after us. Now you don't teach us about what the Hindus will do to us. You go. We don't need you here. We are quite comfortable with the Hindus. Even today, in key positions, the Parsis have been there. Chief Justice, Commander in Chief of the Army like Manik Shah, Air Force Chief, uh, Attorney General and much out of proportion to their small size of 60,000 people. And uh, this is a tribute to the Hindus. Uh, similarly, and they gave it, they themselves gave it the, that as a tribute to the Hindus. Mm -hmm.